Hey everybody, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me or not, or if there's any sound level issues. Once again, jumping in from freaking work, and I'm like, oh, I forgot to take my laptop home with me because I gotta assign something to somebody tonight. Why are you counting down? I didn't do it. Yeah, I'm trying. It's like work is being a pain in the butt as soon as I get into a rhythm, and then it's like, oh no, well, I've got to do more tomorrow then. Right on time, yeah. Five, right on time. Five minutes late. Anyway. We, uh, so basically, I think we were knives, swords. We were going to do some side quests to get up to Renown 20. <clears throat> Feeling better? Much better, thanks. Seems it'll take a few more than a few knocks to get the beast of me. Oh, 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 God, no, no, don't, don't, no. Plus, while healing up, I started to think of ways to help without getting in over my head. Since I had had to stay off of my paws, I started jotting down some of my know-how into scouting journals. And I remembered a species of ramble I think I could use to give my bow arrow a bit more sting. That way I can help you out from the rear, without being a pain in yours. So next time you feel like a jaunt in the hollow, let's go rustle up some of those sticks. Ah, the Ursa results? Yeah, we did do an article on that. I haven't posted a video here in like a month, and I'm sorry for that. Oh, just... Ugh. The world's being silly. Not keeping up. There they are. Now these brambles can get more than a mite dangerous. Their throw, their thorns explode on impact. A great feature for projectiles, but also a real hazard if you slip up. So, how's about we divide and conquer? I'll do the collecting and whip up some new arrowheads, and you just do what you do best: find the beast and take it down. to find a way to get over there without doing damage to myself. That's kind of a pain in the butt.
punish me, baby. With your puns. Alright, we can do agitators now. Perfect. about a cluster if it checked out first so like it you know the sad part is i think i was like 20 late in my late 20s before i understood the chicken cross the road joke was a metaphor for death it's like why the chicken crossed the road to get to the other side and it implies that he got hit by the car and i'm like oh 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 okay it's dark humor but like dark humor that like everybody says in front of kids but nobody understand like it's just like the kids are like I don't get it it's like
sake. Come on, sandwich, don't pull apart on me. Great work, and I found all those brambles I needed. I'm not good at pool, actually. <coughs> so you made these explosive throwing errors, did you? Impressive firepower. Oh, thanks. Should help set things up to make it easier for Skipper to do while they their work. I love to analyze all the unusual properties of this bramble species. Where did you discover it? It was in the hollow. I'd be glad to share all my notes with you. You have documentation? Sure do. I'll pass it all over to you so you can use that brilliant mind of yours to take a crack at it. Use your head too. A strategy that plays to your strength and your team. Just what I expect from you. Welcome back, Sean Quill. Junk Creel, these nifty notes are quite comprehensive. Oh, I'm glad you can make out my messy scribbles. This has soil properties, drawings, even observations on taste. I can extrapolate so much. Happy I can help you answer your questions, for once. But, why do you care about these thorns in particular? I am fascinated by the implications of magical runoff. It may have caused mutations in local ecosystems, meaning that these exploding thorns might be such. Meaning that these exploding thorns might be such one by one of these such byproducts and words that came out of my mouth. <laughs> How many deer I have to touch? <clears throat> if so, the line of inquiry could unlock secrets to new medicines agricultural techniques, and more. Learning lessons from nature on a grand scale, huh? I'm all for it. Still see some of that doom stuff. I've tried, and I've tried, but my family just doesn't give a rabbit about all the contamination from the beasts. They say I'm just being a trembling toadstool about this, like I was am, and, and that's, I'm not, I'm upset with them, but, but I'm, I just reckon there ought to be somewhere that's safe for them, right? The Myers got so many cozy corners. Tempest, you're as brave as a beast. Would you come on, Sa would you come on, Santa, and me looking for a new swimming hole? Uh, I don't know. The last time my crewmates asked me a favor, it all came to blows. Not this time. I've got a good feeling about this. It's gonna work out great. I'm gonna take advantage of that these ones are probably gonna be a little bit weaker. So, like, I think what I should try to do is I should try to use some of these new bow and arrows. Like, I, I know I'm pretty good with the bow and arrow, so I wanna try some of these, like, and see, like, if they're any good here. Because I need to start increasing my experience and renown more. Look at this! Now this would be an idyllic spot, national spot for my all my little nieces, nephews, and nibblings. Spiderwebs glistening something pretty, sweet lilies drifting through the mist. 
I reckon once we all get settled in, things will be fine. So nature provides and kaboom. So we can do kaboom right away. Beast here pausing on all up. I won't have to deal with this. I shouldn't have to deal with this. Nobody should have to deal with this. It just makes me feel so, so angry. Angry! because I don't have enough time to look for something. I should have done with a two item. I thought I was going to be able to find a three item. Sneak attack. Alright. Leave the miles alone, you miserable monster! This is our home! I don't want to have to find another! So what do we got? Twirling thong, twirling volley. Fires three arrows in a wide arc. Applies essence. 50% chance to do 50% chance of doing taunt damage. Fire arrows in a straight line. Deals one damage. On third bounce. Deals one damage to new radius radius and stop. Fires one shot, consumes only on and gain damage three. That's me. Deal four damage. Equal to ammo. So basically, we want to try to use this until we actually have some cores revealed.
<laughs> wow. Nice. Not really, but like... I'm gonna leave that. This is actually really cool. Like, I could do like 16 damage. Let's try this. There we go. That's 12 damage. Bam. Look at that. That is scary dangerous. I love it. That actually might be better than the Agitator Bolt. change anything, did it? Those beasts are still making the Myers all corrupted. And even so, I can't stop feeling that faith, that faith, that, feeling that faith that it'll work out. Like a little glow of warmth in my chest. What good does that glow do for me? Or my family? It just m makes me a deluded, cowardly fool. It takes a stern heart to stare into the face of terror and keep swimming. And you see the face of terror and everything you stare at. But challenging these beasts despite it, seems to me like taking that glow and lighting a match with it. Cause sometimes things that have to get... Cause sometimes things have got to burn. Sometimes they deserve to burn. This is setting fire to it all. Right, now I'm a pyromaniac. I feel, I, if I feel like screaming, then it ought to be okay. I'm gonna look at my whole family and say, it is all gonna be okay someday, because I'm not gonna rest until I find a way to make it okay. I won't shy away from the parts that are ugly so I can save all the things that make this swamp beautiful. And that starts with sticking it to those beasts by giving Skipper something stronger to fight with. So, Skipper, um, keep bringing me on expeditions with y'all, even if I may sob my way through. I won't let anything stop me. Excellent news! Although my recent imports of soap cleaning tech have ultimately proved insufficient, my father is now investigating some alternative tech that he might purchase for us to aid our goals. Er, uh, of course there's no more need for magical trash raining upon its shores. Someday we should aim our cannons skyward and bring the clarier's crash into the ground. Right, because... Right, because the world needs more places like the wastes. Great plan. Look, his tech obviously won't work, but his persistence only hurts himself. So maybe give him a break. And what do you know of persistence? She who lifts no wing for crew or calls. Shut your blasted beak. <laughs> Tempest, maybe we maybe ease up on the shouting and started to make Make me a bit. I will temper my tone for a sniveling coward. 
Enough. I will not tolerate attacks under my own roof. Leave. Burn out your anger on the beasts. Return when you remember who your enemies are. So be it. Three arrows in a straight line. Hundred to deal two damage. There must be a way to redirect that anger. like no dark one. Interesting. Ugh. So they seek to throw me out of my tail like some fresh hashed fool. Over words? Pathetic. That was nothing. Nothing. I've seen no agreements that would make their head spin. I know a true attack. If it's fighting they, they think I want, is it? Then if fighting, I'll show them. Let's find the fiercest beast so we can shatter it to dust. They think I can handle the wastes? Tempest. I'll show them handling the wastes! Alright, let's see what else we got. Let's try the stun burst. The much feared sands of Tyrrhenhaven. Better empty sands than a poison sea. Still, it's got my teeth on edge and shivers the soul. Blast it, magic or no, I can't celebrate what happened here. Nobody should. At last, something the spire blast apart to save the refuge. Always the pin of around you. Fine, let's save those sorry souls. Let's see what this can do. Okay, this is the burrow bolts. Triple bast. Fire, fears on a straight line, deal one damage on core and stop. On core bounce increases the remaining arrows damages by one.
try and take that down. Really? What? Oh, I mathed wrong. Fuck. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take damage and I'm gonna have to take rampage. Fast! Oh, that's lame. Are you serious right now? That That is... That is so bad. I'm not a fan of this one. It's... Wow, that was a that was that was a blunder. So, for those of you who don't know what happened, I meant to hit triple blast there. Instead, my thing went down one more point and went end turn, which is absolutely not what I intended to do. Now I'm in real trouble. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna have to go for that one, even though I'm about to die. Like, that one blunder just completely turned this whole thing around. Right, there we go. I think that's the first time I've taken out one of their claws. I was way closer than I should have made it. There's a bitterness to this victory. I knew the tales of Tradehaven, I, the magic bleeding out like an open wound, the sandstorm sweeping in, but it's different, 
standing here in near solitude. I still long to lance the wounds of the corrupted coast and drain them dry. Break apart every corrupted piece of crystal. Break apart whatever did this to us. Break apart everything. But that fight the farmhouse is not the first time I've gone too far. After getting my scar, I devoted myself to blasting apart every scrap of magic I found. Until my crew told me they couldn't count on me anymore. That I rated my vengeance above their voyages. So I stormed off and they took a tough job without me. And when the Hexawhip struck down that ship, I wasn't there to aid them. So maybe my heart shakes with rage. Good. We should all be angry. But I want this rage to shape me into someone that critters can depend upon again. I want to forge a finer blade for my fury. To slice only where my vengeance is needed most. We all bear scars, and soon those beasts will too. Skipper, I'll help you to save as many critters as we can. This I bow to you. I owe you all an apology. Those I've yelled at in recent times, I am before. I don't want to stay a critter that wrecks everything they get their claws on every time they see red, especially with a red kangaroo. I mean, that's why that's why whenever times are talking in my voice, it's like, ah, I'm angry because <laughs> I'm seeing red. Anyways, because disagreements aside, this is a good crew we got here. We've all sailed different seas. I learned hard lessons from mine. If I seek vengeance, that's my right. But that's my tale, not yours. Those of us on the coast, we had our futures ripped from us. And we have to fight to keep what remains. And I would never lose grip of that rage against the things that were done to us. But I'm going to channel it now into our fight together, if you'll accept it. Well said. Fine, I guess. Apology accepted. You do have ample cause to be upset. Which is why I shall continue to investigate the... matter. That's fine. Matter. I thought I'd ask a moment to parley with you. I'm sorry for the words I spoke in that fit of rage. They were cruel and uncalled for, and I won't fault you if you choose to bear a grudge. No, no, that's okay. It was, uh, actually, it stung something something fierce. It won't be repeated. You can count on that. I believe it, buddy. Thanks. As f and as for this new goals of yours, to find a way to boost up the beach, maybe you could get all the pirate pals to stop fighting long enough to cozy up and work together. Yeah, <laughs> now that's optimism. And maybe you could speak up loud enough for your family to give you a well-deserved listen. <laughs> oh, a critic can only dream. Ah, there we go. Cinnabar Secret. It'll take finding the right key card in the glitch peaks to hack the meat, the central moat processing. So I don't think Ramirez here yet, but it does seem to be that you need a renowned of 20 to open up this one. We gotta go back to the Glitch Peaks. Or 
swap this. I don't know, I really like the fusion slug. So if we do the reroad roll, burrowing bits, um, priming bolts, and then um, the fusion slug. Do we have that unlocked? I don't think we have the individual one unlocked, unfortunately. All right, then we're just gonna go agitator, I guess. <clears throat> so we wanna unlock the fusion slug. Or we could do like that. And then... We can update this with like... The ignition. Applies fire, fires one arrow, applies essence, which there's a chance to deal with it. Fire swear is a straight line, applies essence, there's a chance to deal with damage, of course. Three arcs and a medium arc deal one damage in a small radius. Mm. Fires three arrows in a medium arc, applies essence, applies fragile. Adds one drain if it be strange, drain, strange. gotta be that. I mean, I like that setup, so I'm just gonna do that. And that's why we've lived with Granny our entire lives! I don't remember any of it, though. Skipper was an infant when it happened, and I was like super little. I don't even remember anything about my parents. What about you? Do you remember yours? Yes. Not a big talker, huh? Exactly where he is, so let me supply up, baby. Okay, what do we got? It's weak versus stung.
Bam.
gonna hit it at the right angle, baby. There we go. Look at this die, die. Look at that die. One shot, one kill, baby. I love that one. That's actually really cool. Increases the arrow steps by 50%, gain 5 ammo when you damage a tile. I think we're going to do that one. Yeah, let's do a swap here. The Enrager. Try this mix. Fires and arrow pieces are skills, deals with damage. I 
I seriously don't get you. Fighting beasts directly is, ugh, the worst idea. It helps. Uh, no, it doesn't. More beasts are never always going to show up. Nothing ever actually changes. You're wasting your time. Absolutely jack all. Did I read that wrong? Oh, okay, so I have to like actually knock it around. That's. Ooh. Man, I really put myself in a bad spot with this. Lost connection there for a moment. First time that's happened. Loadout sucks. You owe me. There. Are you freaking serious right now? Not good. I don't really have a good way to fight this guy. Oh my god, come on. Get me out of here. Uh.
Uh, how's it going, Summer? What the heck was that? All right. I was about to say that doesn't that doesn't seem right. Area, please. Why? <laughs> Come on! God, I'm gonna have so many freaking arrows. All right, thank you. Jesus. That is exactly what I didn't want it to do. Oh, if I use that now. Love battleship. I don't know, this is battleship.
And this is not a great loadout, but I'm still doing decent with it. Yeah, Wind Blast is not great. I think it's very tactical. America. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, hit, baby. Oh, oh, that would have been like, if that hit, that would have been like, oh, buddy, that would have been great. I would have, I would have been like, dude. I'd be like, come on, just a fraction of an inch. I would have been like, it, like, I can't, I didn't count how many times it bounced there, but that would have been like probably 20 damage. It's like that would have been like the one in a million shot where that thing would have actually been worth something. God bless.
time's on my side, so I don't have to worry about it. Because those agitators have been adding time on the clock for me. Not the most efficient way to take out a dude, though. Absolutely not. Like, Wind Blast would be very good if you were really good at, like, really nasty trick shots. Finally! That was a fight. I think par is gonna be like zero. Yep. I was gonna say, like, that took a long time. Right, are we done now? Oh, that's where we get the little paw thing from? two damage at a time. Could do it to a lot of things, but... Splinter Smash deals one damage strap to two, plus one strap for each inertia. <clears throat> so again, that can deal a large quantity of damage over a lot of things, but not a lot of focus damage. Like, this is like a death by a thousand cuts. Like, there's no, like...
munch, munch, munch. Yes, yeah, so I had to get dinner on the way home. Because I can't plan things out for anything. Auxiliary disposal is under threat. You're definitely getting rid of that, because that was garbage. So what if we combined... I mean, do we have the fusion slug? I don't think so. so. Let's back up a bit. Let's go to the forge. What do we need in order to... for bow and arrow? We need glooms, or we need that. And what we need it on... Like, we definitely want to do... Definitely want to craft like the the arrow and the thing. So this thing. So while we're waiting on that, we will plan the expedition. try and push my renowned up. I'm gonna try this one and see how that works. It's not true. What are you muttering about? What? What you said. How nothing changes. I think it makes a difference fighting beasts. The one to the ones we save. I guess.
bounce off of, like, okay. So will it do damage to that and give me more ammo, or...? Did not. Good to know. was actually pretty good. Just need to get, come on, just let me out of here. No, not there. Can I hit it from here? Oh my gosh, really? Seriously? All right. I don't know if that'll hit. I'm gonna try it though. 
<laughs> nice. So let me see if I can get the, the blaster bolt, because that's going to really open up some doors. Alright, we need to try... We're going to try this one. Ooh, what is this? Fires three pellets in a small arc. Deal one damage. Add one to beast status based on current charge. Drain is 20. Scars, 30. What is the charge? Anyway. The doubler bolt. Fires one arrow. Deals one damage to stop. Swap two doubler bolts in a medium arc. Is that like. I have no idea what that stuff is, but, like, interesting. Okay, let's see if we can swap anything with any new renowned on it. idea what it's going to do. Could be a bad idea. I still don't really get it. How can you keep fighting over and over? Even though you can see it's not making a difference in the long term. How can you save and save a settlement, even though it's probably going to just get trampled a week later? I still don't understand. But maybe I want to. Poppy to go here. Ooh, nine is good. Oh man, we don't even have to move for this one. Awesome. Uh, we'll go with Stun Knuckles. So I didn't get the weakness there. All right, here we go. There's a weird glitch up there. Oh, this guy's got a uh, some nasty, nasty spikes. Multi pellets. Current charge. Okay, so that's what that is. Drain is 23.
double their bolt, dude. Deal on damage spawns two. On skill balance spawns is two dollar to immediate mark. Oh, so like. Perfect. A lot of good videos about uh, that kind of stuff these days. Making sure that people know about neuro diver, neuro non typical, I suppose I could call it. Oh, let's do this. The doubler bolt's actually pretty expensive for not a lot of not a lot of gumption. Oh wow, oh oh wow, oh wow. Never mind. What I just said there? Shut my mouth. Oh wow, that was good. I was like, I was wondering if it was like, if the, if it actually like did it with like, if you bounce off of scales and bounce off of scales and bounce off of scales, if it would actually, you know, have a different impact. So yeah, like if we're going into a lot of scales. Of like here, 
like doing doubler is not great. actually not a bad loadout. Oh my gosh, it's still going. Come on. Did more damage than I thought it would. Okay, yeah, that's... It's pretty messy. All I wanted was that. <laughs> I don't care about anything else.
turn to maths. Called mathematics. Oh man, really? Get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. I think the one of the bad parts about this is like there's no real great um, damage dealing with this setup. I can do like little chip damage here and there. But like doing like the big damage is just like there's not many. There we go. Perfect. Are we done now? Doing this redundant stuff? Never making any progress? Alright. There's our harpoon. So this is the one that deals f damage and does an increased attack. Vital core bounce at 20. The daring roll. What is this? Moves three steps equal to charge, gain three. Move steps. Move steps equal to charge, gain three ammo. If it's at the beast's attack zone, gain two ammo. That just seems very weird. Might be worth upgrading, I'm not sure. Ah, it's a wind one, so I would need to like go find wind in order to. There's actually an entire upgrade policy to that. So it's got to be like, it's got to be that one. 
but I'd have to go like out of my way. Maybe there will be a uh, thing. Here we go. Summon a legendary hammer, legendary sword of metal and whiskersmith, level legendary knives. Yeah, there's no world here either. Let's see what else we got. Scale deal one damage, won't slow your magician chance to deal one damage. We'll try that. I want to do like the burrow bowl with that. That takes 30. That takes 10. Okay, so that one's free. And again, you don't really need burrow bolts if you're... Is daring roll like... Oh, okay. So that's like a... That's a roll. Oh, wow. That's a new roll. Okay. So what does this do? You move steps equal to char... Gain three ammo. This one gains what four? Oh, that's no, that's just better. Like the regular roll is just better. Like you get to bounce, you get five, you get four or five, and the other one you get three or five. It's like I'd rather do the four and five. Then the three and five. It's not even a, not even a thing. Fires two arrows in a straight line. Applies essence. Deals fifty percent damage. Like I want to make sure that it's not too expensive. Like that's pretty expensive. So we want like one that's cheap. Two is pretty cheap. If attacking or. It, if, it, if an attack hits a core, its attacks are cancelled. What's this one? That's what I want to go for, but like. So Smite Bolt is pretty cheap. We have plus 50% right now. This actually really sucks. There's no real... I don't like it. There's no, like... There's no, like... Thing. 
the, the pummel shot really does like Actually, I really like the multiplier pellets. That was actually a really good one. So if I combine that with... So that one actually does a lot of damage if you don't have that, so you wouldn't want that. Doing a lot of thinking. Unfortunately, that's the problem with these, like doing it and like, trying to figure out. try this. That one, that one. No. Like, I don't understand why which ones are which. Oh, okay, so those are interchangeable. Oh, wow, so that's a lot of different opportunities.
Pecco, you keep writing cake on your travel pack request list, but I don't... So, so what? What are you trying to say? Um, I just need to know which flavor you want. Like, sweet seed cake, warm honey cake, blueberry swirl cake. It comes in flavors? that. I'm going to do that, then I'm going to move here. Not a really good place for that. Let me move here. Okay. Here. Ugh, great. <laughs> that doesn't help. So I'm going to grab a two. Poppy here, just for guess. Ugh, God, there's one. Alright, um, well, we're gonna move up here then. And we're gonna use you to get the acid. And we're gonna guess which way he went. I guess here. Well, I gotta just do different ones because I gotta get like more renowned. There's a lot of ammo. This is a really uh. Yeah, Scale-based, right. So you actually want to, like, minimize scale damage. actually not a bad strat.
that's actually not a bad strat. Like, other than the nettle forms, it's kind of the odd one out. Like, I don't think I've used this, and it's like, it's not really useful, so if I found something else to put with it, that is actually useful. Because the swift darts really work with, like, crowd control, and basically, like, doing a lot of damage and, you know, getting the attack power down, and then the beast boar is really good at, like, like, penetrating scales and, like, doing massive damage. Whereas the swift darts do, like, chip damage. Spend some of this ammo. One more. See, this is like good at getting rid of excess ammo too. So it's like I don't have nothing to do, so I'm just gonna like spend some ammo on that. It's a very ammo light build. So like this one would actually be good. Oh, that that's actually. Good. Like, if I can think about, like, bringing in the... Well, I gotta get that one first. I, that's the big thing. Now that they're drained, see, I do damage. And that's so he's dead right now. Unless it doesn't do damage. Bad luck. Alright, try again. There we go. Very much luck based, though, whether or not you do damage. But that's a very good thing. Other than, like, I think the Nettle Thorn Thorns is the odd thing out. The Swift Darts and the Beast Boar work really well together. So I get, like, the one that. The one that does actual damage when you have a lot of ammo, that would actually be, like, really, really good. I think that would be, like... I think that would actually be a really, really good combo. I just need to find, like, wind bore stuff in order to do that combination. Or we could do like the three petals that does damage, that just takes ammo, but then that's like redundant with that. Fires three arrows in a straight line, applies essence. 30% damage to deal one damage and stop.
Like, there's no freaking whirls. I need whirls, man. Alright, so let's try to replace the nestling forms with something else. Anything else, right? Uh, the snipe bolt, nah, not really. What's siphon do? Not the doubler either. Triple blast, maybe? Fire stair arrows in a straight line, deal one damage, stop, increases remaining arrow damage. Up. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. And then we're gonna do. Was it the snipe bolt, or was it the. It's the beast lore? So, like. This will be good if the core is naked, and the other one will be good if the score is, um, is bare. And then this one will be good if there's, like, a whole bunch of damage that can be done and a bunch of exposed cores. I think that's, that's a good thing, so we'll just do it that way. Alright, let's see. Be a good anchor. Hey Echo, do you have any fun cooking knives? What? Knives you can use in the kitchen! <laughs> yeah, the kitchen. You know, for mincing, chopping, slicing, and dicing! I don't know, maybe. Is there anyone in your kitchen you want to stab? Yes! I mean, I mean, I was just making stuff. That's, that's what I was, I was doing. Anyway. No, Koopa. Yes, thank you. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that's fancy right there. Poppy Forge, go for it, baby. That's six, okay. I'm gonna grab this to get nine. Dandy. Oh, there's the card down there. Actually, let's um, grab the card first. And then we're going to use Dandy. We'll do... We're going to do Drain Knuckles. And the reason I'm going to do Drain Knuckles is because it works really well with my set up here. Alright, let's see if we can find this beast. Oh wow, good job. He did. He did. It's good for like that opening gambit there where it's like I think I'm gonna stop there. I gotta find some way to get to the back. Not there. I think that's it. Wow, this is good. Oh, I found the I found the baby. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is so good. Six, three to four. Yeah. 
should have done that first. This weapon is just... Oh, I'm keeping this. What I'm gonna do is... Yeah, let's... That was not a good move, because now I have like no movement. This way. Now we're just gonna hold. <coughs> Rampage is imminent. So now we need to expend ammo, but I have no additional thing. So that's perfect. Like, like you need like a move like this that you can just like spam in there. Spam it. Acid actually doesn't help me with this. I'm, you know, it doesn't. It kind of does, I guess, because like that's what the triple blast can make up for. But, but I think he's dead. Yep. And this is a good weapon. Steps equal to health, gain five ammo, lose one health. Ooh. You know, that actually may work. Because, like, as long as I do it in less than, like, 25 or 35 turns, like, I'm pretty good at avoiding damage. Like, that's, that's something I've never really had too much of a problem with. So a guaranteed five ammo for basically... Well, actually, no, it's not that, because... Ooh, that's... Because you can move multiple times a turn. So... I don't know, I have to see how much health I have. I could try it. Is there a way to upgrade that? I need gloom to upgrade it. Can I upgrade anything else in that set that I've created? Um, so we have the triple blast. So what that does is four arrows, but it costs four arrows. 
Oh man, no. But that's so good. Like even with four arrows, that's that's really good. Like that's that means instead of doing so basically if I hit a core three times in a row, right, you can do six damage. But now if you think about it, you can do one you you do four factorial instead of three factorial, nerd math math nerds here. So instead of doing six damage, I can do twelve damage, because four times three No. No, 24, right? No, it's no, it's summation. It's not. It's actually not factorial. I lied. It's, it's summation. 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. It's not 4 times 2 times 3 times. <laughs> Two different things. Summation of 4 to 1. Okay, so 4 plus 3 is 7. The plus 2 is 9. 10 damage. So you can do 10 damage instead of 6 damage. Because so 6 plus 4 is 10, Josh. <laughs> you're making, you're making too Stop it. Anyway, 10 damage. Uh, an extra 4 damage for an extra arrow loss. I mean, that's pretty dang good. I think I'll go for it. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we had the... What's was called? The drill? The beast boar? Let's see what that one does. Okay, so no... Fires 1 arrow, deal 1 damage. Fires 1 arrow, pierces through. It just moves further? I mean, why not, I guess. And then, what was the other one I had? I don't have Perilous Roll yet. And I've already upgraded, I think, the individual roll. And then, what was the third one that I used? I used... Um, not that. Did I already have the upgraded version of that? Skipper has the MOOC access to central MOOC processing. I've told you the Glitch Peaks once housed the Queen's elite magical researchers. They're gone now. When the area became too unstable, all of them have abandoned the automated facilities. With one exception. You? No. Not me. I have delivered many messages from desperate critters in desperate need of help. Now it is time to deliver one more. I ask that you accompany, accompany me inside and hold off the beasts so that I may speak to the one who remains. Alright, yeah, okay, so yes, yeah, so everything's plus now. I, I like it, I'm gonna keep it. Except I may do Perilous Roll, but like... No, no, I'm just gonna do Reroll. Reroll, 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 Reroll. If I get Gloom, I'll, I'll do that one. If I get an upgrade and it actually like lowers the damage or like does something. I have completed a quick search of the lab, but the one I seek eludes me. Were the access tunnels swarmed already? Was he driven into the surrounding peaks? I'll get the beast. Keep searching. Alright, let's see what Echo shows. Ooh, there's some good stuff with Fabi to forge. Look at that. Maybe. Oh, actually, go for here. Five. Okay. All right. What I'm gonna do? We're gonna look here. Nope. I'm good. I'm gonna look here. He definitely moved up there. Um, I 
actually, our uh, acid's fine. Um, I do want to do drain knuckles. What we should do is we should do health serum. That Cinepa being threatened. Don't you dare harm them, beasts! They are not the one you are sensing. Seek me instead. Strike me instead! No. Skipper, destroy the beast now. Look at that, this guy's got like a extra thing on him. Alright, here we go. This looks like the hardest fight yet. I need to get out of here. Probably to the back if I can. This is gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be good. Ugh, damage. Oh my God, 17 ammo. Oh, this is this is regarded right here. Holy cow. This is holy cow. This is really good. Oh, this is insane. Oh, they're already drained, so I don't need to hit them with the drain anymore. Ding, 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 ding. More. I need more. Like you're, you're really, he's really hating that like advantage that he gave himself right now. Owie, 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 owie. One more. Let's do it again. One more. Da 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 da. Wow. This is this is a madness and I love it. I'm so glad I tweaked around with this. Like I I was like I, I'm sure like anyone who's like watching the recording of this 
you know, this, this game, we'll probably be going like, man, you are really missing out on some overpowered, like, things by mixing and matching, and now it's like, oh, now you're seeing it. Now you got it. Like, I can do, like, a good triple blast, like, right down the pipe. Like, he's gonna take five, he's gonna be down to five. I am. And I can do one of these, too. Not gonna do much, but, like, not, don't waste the ammo. That was full on destruction. Beast Boar, go right into there. Hit that for, for the five, baby. So you bounce off of it. Look at that. Look at this. you dead too. <laughs> and you're dead, and you're dead, and you're dead, and you die too. There you go. I'm not just going to use this just to grab some of this decay. I'm not even going to use drainage. I'm just, I'm just grabbing, like, some of these extra stuff here. And he did! This is insane. I love this weapon. This is just like OP as OP can get. Crazy. <coughs> I don't think I need anything else, honestly. from the possibility that we had already bid our final farewells. It is welcome and unwelcome all at once. Even obscured as you are by that inadequate armor. Perhaps we need neither armor nor goodbyes. These failed pins themselves lend the lie to your words. Despite cries for help, ever unanswered questions, pleading for a rescue that never arrives. No, Umbra. These are not messages from settlements begging to be saved. These are the ones that were answered. How? Who? Umbra, this is Skipper, the one who seeks to help. One who seeks to help? Empty words that could have described to any of us. Yet if Cinefar has lent you their trust, your efforts must be an astonishing. I cannot leave these peaks while my work is unfinished. There is much I, I need must think on. Skipper, you have kept your promise. Thank you. I will aid as I can. But first, 
I ask that you allow me a moment of brief private conversation with my husband. Oh, they're married. Husband? Yeah, did I stutter? <laughs> did I stutter? We have we have the one thing fully upgraded. But do we have any like other Oh yeah, right, we needed to upgrade the, the perilous roll. Oh that yes. Yes, yes. Like I I actually think that, that would actually work really well. I think that that's the final addition. Like, it's gonna be interesting, because I don't I like I don't really take damage from the enemy all that much, unless I make a mistake. So I think that that's actually a very good, like, final, like, addition to the... to the revelry. messages lurking at the edges of the farm, goading Skipper to fight battle after battle, just to drag them into something death to some deathly dangerous fool's errand in the mountains. You've thrown my grandchild to the beasts for the sake of your husband. I have. What's he gonna do about it? But surely you have anyone who understands what one does for family. Yeah, we sacrifice each other's family for each other's families. That's how we do it. After all, you after all, you threw the entire world to the beasts to, for the sake of yours. Whoa, what? Okay, so I actually have to All right, so let's get one of these whirlwinds. So I have to have more renowned. Artful chopper. Echo, you're packing? Look, I just heading out for a while. Not a big deal. Trust me, no one will notice I'm gone. Back to your nest. What? No! I told you that place sucked, so good riddance. It's just... There's someone else I have to go, okay? Look, I don't care if I have to... You have to tag along. Just don't get in my way. Alright, let's try... Uploading the reload... To the Perilous Rule. Because that's just going to make this whole build just even more insane. Like, I'm going to have so much extra weapons, extra ammo to play around with. Like, not even gonna be funny. We're pretty far out. Yeah, you're far out, all right. <laughs> this part of the waste was blocked off by the sawtooth. I haven't been here since. All right, so let's see what we get. Get for aerial view. Um, like right here, maybe. Okay. Three, two, two. 
Of course, great, fantastic. A needle beak moved right in after the sawtooth got wrecked. Should have known. Forget it. This is pointless. We should go. No. N not if it's important. Alright, we're gonna do one, two, and go. Alright, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do two drains. Or do we have like zillions? See through volume. It's a stormtrooper way of life. Can't get to my tower. Can't get to my tower! So I'm gonna do a suction cups! I'm gonna do suction cups on the tower! Look at me go! Fuck you! I'm suction cup man! This is your home? Sorry, I had to do it. No! That used to be. Used to be my tower. <laughs> anyway. Um, so this is going to be interesting. So I get to move 35 times. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea. This actually might be bad, because that's... That's 10 damage.
got to get rid of that other thing down there. So I gotta get rid of that bastard, because that, that's gonna hurt. out here. It's pretty much impossible to make ends meet. They'd fight about it sometimes, and one day, the two of them went out to forge and just never came back. The beast. I don't know, maybe. Or maybe they just decided it would be easier by themselves that I've been too needy. But I was so stupid, so naive, and because of, I just, just stayed. A pathetic, starving, huddled ball of feathers watching the sun set and rise over and over, waiting for them. When the Sawtooth came and drove me out of the tower, I finally realized they weren't coming back. Obviously. And I shouldn't have either. What was the point? Did I think it would feel different now, seeing it now? Nothing's changed. The wastes are still terrible, there's no hope or food or water, and I'm still, still, still frozen in place, doing nothing. Doing nothing. Ah! Echo, you've returned! Everyone, false alarm, she's returned! Dandy, what? What are all these packages piled outside the farm? Oh, well, you were nowhere to be found this morning, and naturally we all assumed that you'd left for good. But with so little packed in the way of sustenance and supplies, we were all besides ourselves with worry. I... So I rallied the team to assemble some extra resources we could transport to your new home. But now it appears that I... I have made a big fuss over nothing, as usual. So I shall just be on my way. What? Wait, wait, I... It mattered that you tried. It matters to try. <clears throat> I still can't believe that you hauled this all this into the front yard. Well, well, it's not it's not as though I'm completely incapable of manual labor. You know that there, there's enough stuff here for like a dozen critters. Well, jean Quil produced a seemingly endless number of scouting supplies. Not to mention that Poppy became remarkably enthusiastic about a cake-related cooking project. You never told her what type, though, which she told you to tell her, but whatever. <laughs> and then Malo kept fretting about wily, improbable scenarios, so Alkalemia built several devices, which... You thought I needed an entire tea set? You were constantly hoarding all the little cups during brunch. Regardless, I encountered some difficulties while attempting to transport the set's matching table. But then I thought, silly me, she's out in the waste, surely she wouldn't mind roughing it. 
She can place the tray upon this embroidered picnic blanket. Dandy, or A feather brain, I know. Let's just put it away and never speak of it again. If it helps, I was sorry. What? For bringing Skipper into it. I was sorry. I thought I was asking you to make a last stand. Not asking your grandchild to take a first one. But you're not sorry anymore. No. Truthfully, neither am I. They certainly are a determined one, aren't they? I'm surprised you managed to keep them on the farm as long as you did. With that drive, you'd think that they'd left the moment they were grown. It shouldn't surprise you. Isn't it clear why they chose to stay? They wanted to help me. Yeah, <laughs> he would notice. Yeah, right? <coughs> they're not they're not lovey at all. Not at all. has been rousing us uh, so early to respond to these calls for help. I had hoped that I might have an opportunity for a nap today, but seems not to be. Wow. You mean you're not enjoying the gentle lullaby of smashing and roaring? <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, I'm committed to the gravity and magnitude of the situation. So, like, what's gonna happen is, if I don't, if if me going up in renowned is going to not unlock the next thing, what I'll do is off screen I will go to the next thing to unlock the next thing, um, to get to the next uh, set of things here. They grab. I think they grabbed this. Nope. So which one did they go for? They've got to be up this way. Up oh, there they are. <laughs> Part seven or twelve. I know, right? I. They said that they were gonna be. She said it like that. It's gonna be twenty hours, but like. Really careful not to.
Wow! Dang, this weapon. Holy cow. Just go right for the throat. I don't care. It's like if you got scales, I'll hit him with your beast spore. If you don't have scales, I'll nail you with the frickin'. That is insane. That was two moves. Woohoo! What was that? You're crazy! Is it the weapon or the aim? Well, it's just that he just happened to put his like face out there for me to hit. He's like, yeah, let me rearrange myself for you to to hit me directly in the face. <clears throat> well, let's see what the the uh, thing here is. Oh. Allow me to provide some additional context. I sense from your expiration that it is perhaps overdue. For a long time, Umbra has lured the most powerful beasts into the peaks, one by one to lock them away. But recently, he found an output node that controls some of the oldest tech in the Glitch Peaks. He is determined to destroy it, along with the beast that feeds on it. He believes this will be possible, only if he lures a catastrophic number of beasts at once, and engulfs the area in a blaze of destruction. Needless to say, when it came to ev ele <coughs> evaluating the risk of a particular plan, we disagreed. I have a counter-proposal if you're willing to. I'll fight it. Heh. <laughs> Unfortunately, Umbria will acquire more convincing than you have. Now your renown has a more specific target. Continue saving settlements and show them what you can truly do. Okay, so... Reach level 23. Okay. <coughs> so what we're going to do then is I'm going to do that off screen and then we will do this thing next time. Yeah, I was just kind of doing that. But that was really, like, I, I'm very happy with this weapon. Like, I have no qualms or no updates that I can think I can make to it in order to get it to go better. Um, but yeah, so what I'll do is off screen, I'll go up to Renown 23, um, you know, upgrade some stuff, play around a little bit. And that way, when I come back, we'll be able to do the ultimate glitch. As soon as I have that unlocked, I'll be able to. Um, forward with it. Yes, like you have to tune in next week. It's on um, 420. Yes, 420. We will blaze it. <laughs> Happens to be 420. Anyways, have a good have a good one guys. Thank you for showing up tonight. I'm glad I tried new weapons. I cry glad I tried new things to to get this done and uh definitely uh, was worth it because that this definitely is a weapon that just cuts right to the heart of the matter there's no dorking around trying to like looking back on the old weapon that I kind of did the last three episodes with it's like yeah it was kind of cool it was kind of gimmicky but like it didn't really pack a punch as it were it was just kind of like playing around with it a little bit but uh, this new weapon's really really good it, it, it helps and it, it helps if the enemy has scales it helps if the enemy doesn't have scales it can adapt to either situation <clears throat> and if I have extra ammo to, to spend then I can spend it without having to worry about like needing um, special moves or special points in order to use it just so really really good have a good night guys